DC Walt Savis. It's DJ Edu's 10 in 10. This is Africa from the BBC. I am DJ Edu. And as well as talking to some of the biggest names in Afrobeats, we also like to shine our spotlight on up-and-coming musical talent from different parts of the motherland. Algeria has a very rich musical tradition, most famously Rai, of course. And Khalid, the king of Rai, is internationally famous. Algeria sadly lost a great musician earlier this month, Hamid Chariot, also known as Idir. Rufa is a young rapper at the heart of the Algerian urban music scene. He raps in Arabic, but as you hear, he speaks amazing English. Hello everybody listening to This is Africa. This is Rufa from Algeria. I started making music in 2008. I was 14 years old, I guess. I started by recording at home with the, the microphone of the headphones using socks <laughs> just to reduce the noise. It sounds disgusting, but it was really fun and I will never forget how I started. <laughs> I really loved music since I was young, let's say Eminem, I really loved his flows, his beats, he made me move every time I listened to one of his tunes. I loved Algerian music as well, I used to listen to Sheb Khaled, Hasni, Mami, those are big names in Algeria. And now what I'm trying to do, because I love their melodies, I'm trying to combine Algerian melodies with hip-hop beats, and that's my vibes. So what I did is teaching myself everything. And when I say everything, it's really everything, including uh, editing videos, recording, mixing, writing lyrics, and even the management of my social media accounts. And that's what I'm trying to tell the youngest people in Algeria right now. They must do the same. The song that I am proudest of is Mazal Hal. It's the story of every young Algerian. The song was released in 2016. People still send me messages about that song. It encourages them to achieve their goals in any way. Ignore the haters and never let
Being a musician in Algeria is not that difficult for some people, but being a rapper, it is. Because the people in power doesn't like urban music, so it's hard to make money. It's because we are honest and they don't like us when we say the truth. And that's why I left Algeria and now I live and work abroad. And that was in 2017, the same year when I released my album for free. It was called Ma'am Nunej, which means they didn't believe us. And now I'm talking to Sony and Universal about releasing new music, but because of the coronavirus, we have to wait. My ambitions for the future are to take the Algerian urban music to the international level and, uh, of course, help young Algerian rappers. I think music is super important to people in Africa because I guess the best rhythms come from Africa. And my music is for everyone in Africa and outside Africa. And that's why I say it's the Roo family, because everyone feels the same way. Rufa, carrying the torch for rap and for lyrics with power in Algeria. So that's it for This Is Africa This Week. Remember, you can listen again at the bbcworldservice.com slash thisisafrica and look out for the video of Rufa at BBC Africa. Don't forget the hashtag BBC This Is Africa. As ever, I'm leaving you with a classic track from Africa's rich back catalogue. This is Khalid, the King of Rai. Big track called Aisha. I'm DJ Edu and until next week, stay safe and a big shukran for me and the team right here at TIA. See you next week. Peace, peace.